<laughs> Hi, welcome in my amazing Leos. I have a mid-month look for, see what's going on with you, okay? Love you very much. This is for Leo, Sun, Rising, Venus, North Node. Cross watchers are welcome. This may or may not relate to you. If you're not comfortable with it, it might not be your reading. But I dare say that I believe with all my heart that if you tapped onto this reading to listen, you had a need. You were divinely connected. Appreciate what you're given. Thank you for the likes, subscribes. Make sure if you do subscribe, you hit the all bell because that's important or you'll miss my stuff. Aries, I mean, uh, Leo, this is where you are. You're looking for yourself. You're looking for where you really are, your, your origination. And I think the deeper you go, the closer you get. And it's so funny because sometimes that's just right on the tip of your tongue. Let me throw, throw throw some cards down to represent your energy. And then I will read that to you because there's a special message there for my Leos. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Cross Watchers, calling in divine energies to help me to read, rebuking all negative energies, not allowing them in the space, and going into divine union with my Leos at this time, loving you as myself. Thank you for your presence. What's the energy for Leos? What are they dealing with? Show me spirit. King of coins. Leo, someone rising. Oh, hello. Flying right out of the deck, like flying. Three of hearts. I mean, three, three of swords. We're going to have to get real on this one, I think. And the ten of wands. Oh, my God. Give me a second to look at that, because what? Clarify for me the three. Clarify for me this king of coins. I'll read it to you in one second. Oh my God, why are you doing this? Oh my God. Something has been taken from you. You've been very patient about this very burden for a while. You feel like something's missing. Um, you're on this deep, deep inner search for the answer. Um, nobody has that answer. If this was a relationship, it's like a divorce from somebody. It's like, I, I, you hurt me. You said or did something that wasn't very fair. Magician is a manifester. Um, this masculine was either not manifesting money or not manifesting his faithfulness in this relationship to you. And this is the coin that God gave him, this man, this gift. And he, he did something with that gift. Here you are sitting here as a spouse or connected other, devoted to this person, and in the eyes of God, an equal union. Um, and you're the one that's sitting here heartbroken. Three of Swords is not a joke. This is when you've had so many disappointments, at least by the time you hit three. It's settled in as a pattern, and you have to be very careful of those patterns. So really tame yourself to uh, let go. Tame yourself to let go of whatever this is. Ten of Wands um, is energetic burdens on you, throwing burdens on you, burdens on you. And you're being very patient and temperate about this. It could be um, a Sagittarian that you're dealing with. Let me take a quick look at this before we read that soul name message. Let me see the Oracle of Wisdom. What is the message? I love these cards. A lot of readers use them. These are from um, Colette Baron Reed. I couldn't wait to get them. Um, they're very good for your path, your journey, your soul path. And I'm still doing soul path readings if you'd like one. Um, those have always been a little bit more only because you have to go deep. I have to look at a lot of things before I even lay down the cards. I have to meditate and pray, look at your mind chart, look at your horoscope, look at your go in and ask the spirit guides to show me your beauty, your beauty what you're here for, what you need to do, what, how you can do that, what you have to fight against to do it. Where do you have to find the inner strength to make it happen? This is why there's so many, um, which I'd like to help more people if they want a YouTube channel, you know, I haven't done anything specific about that lately. But if you really want the encouragement to do your channel and you need some insights, contact me. You know, get a soul path reading and we'll see if you're meant to do it. And if you're meant to do it, 
um, you'll have some, I'll give you some evidence and proof, and then you go ahead and do your thing. You're guide to, guided to do something, and many, many people just sit there with their finger on the button and just never push it. I ask you to seek, and ye shall find. Why is this situation like this, please? Okay. <clears throat> All you want is peace. You're in the cosmic egg. 23, 3, 3. There must have been something that happens or happened here. And two, of course, you know, is uh, working with another or uh, making a decision and a choice. So you put them together and again, you're at five, which I say again, because that comes up so often as a crossroads. You're at five, which means that you're kind of like in the middle somewhere, deciding something, managing something, or working on improving something. I think it's your soul. What else, please? Going to the sea. Going to the sea. Now, I need to remind you what this card really is. This card means someone's willing to go deep, deep down into their soul. They're willing to investigate who they really are in the light of circumstances they find themselves in. They want to grow. The water represents healing. Um, and seven is the number of your divine, your guide. This is your one of your divine guides looking down over you as you go inside, meditate, and go deep down in your soul. You, Some of you may actually need to be in water, but at this time, it's more referencing your soul search. What else, please? Co-creation. Look at that. Number 40. You're not kidding. You really know you're going to do something very important on the world. In the world, you know that you're a co-creator with the universe. Give me another because I'm curious. You're going to look at these colors. The land of milk and honey. Your temperance takes you to a place of manifestation. And this adds up to six. Some things aren't what you thought they were when you thought they were what they were when you're trying to co-create with someone. You said, well, I gave up my name. I don't even know where I was at the time. I've had to cry a lot. I've had to be patient and feel a lot of burdens. But right now I find myself searching for peace and appreciating the land of milk and honey, the opportunities that are coming my way to bring about a, a, a change in my circumstance. Yes. Um... Let's do a love message with this. Remember what I told you, Soul Path readings. I'm not the only one, and I know a lot of special readers that do deep things. I mean, deep types of readings. I include as much as I can, numerology, Mayan. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll do the side reel. I'll look at all that. Someone's releasing an X. Of course you are. He manifested something different. He manifested pulling away. Healing family issues. Of course you are. Your love life improves as you heal and let go of any control issues. I'm going to read that in a second. And let your friends help you, beloveds. That's what we're here for. Who's coming in? Who's coming in to help them? We have... A Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone that doesn't hesitate for one minute to support you when you need it. They're not going to stay. They're going to come help you move or do whatever you got to do. And King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a father, uh, someone in charge, someone who loves you, someone who's got energy and power, someone who may be a teacher, someone who may be an instructor, but he has authority and he's strong. And then the Queen of Swords, someone who has uh, insight, she has ideas, she's smart, she's intelligent, she's going to come forward with some kind of opportunity for you. And the outcome we have is the answers you need are coming, so be very, very patient. A new romantic cycle will begin for you and you will find your balance again. It's time for you to understand the laws of reciprocity, give and take, balance. And, and I think that's what they're wanting to say. Let's see what this soul name says to my Leos. Then I'm off to go to my doctor and order all of everything I ever wanted that they can give me. 
And then, and you know me, I'm very holistic, right? If I can get anything holistic, I'm on it. Um, then I'm going to go swim with my grandbaby because I dig him so much. My little James. Here we go. You are number one. You're number one. Numero uno, okay? That's very, very important. Just let me remind you, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. My beautiful Leos. Mwah. Love you. Archangel Michael loves you. He says, whatever you're going through, don't think I'm, I'm not seeing this. All you have to do is call me. Call me. Oh, oh my God. What was that song I heard? In, before I started reading, I heard this song. Ain't nothing gonna hold me back. Nobody gonna hold me down. Oh no, I got to keep on moving. I love that. Here's your message. Unlock the mystery of your soul. You're about to receive the name of your soul. Your soul name acts as a link between your inner and outer worlds, enabling you to merge authentic wisdom into your everyday experiences. You create a life from your heart. You placed your soul name in your heart before you were born. As you explore your inner world and, your, and open your heart, you will discover the name of your beautiful essence. You're ready to awaken your heart and know its absolute fullness, and you're safe to discover, connect, and receive. All your dreams and desires will be realized with an open heart. Ask for and be open to receiving the name of your soul. It may arrive in a way you don't expect, but when it comes, you will know it. It's authentic by the way it feels. Liberate your heart and soul. You are worth it. Thank you for everything, Leos. Thank you for the donations, which are always needed on this channel. Um, your gifts, your kindnesses, your readings, your orders. Get this sacred oil. Do yourself a favor. You will not stop loving it. Um, and find this quiet peace where you can hear this message because... They're bringing it to forth to you. You have to love your soul. Okay? Okay. Let me know if you need me. Namaste. Bye.